this is this morning here on Route 66 where I camped, the rear camera on my motorcycle. At first I couldn't figure out what he was doing. You can see the cup. He is disconnecting the fuel line from my motorcycle and is attempting to steal the gas out of my motorcycle. I slept through this. This was early, uh, maybe like 7, 7.15 a.m. I woke up at 8.30, so I slept. Well, there he looks up. He doesn't ever see the camera or even look at the sign that says 24-hour video surveillance. Uh, but he's filling up like a 32-ounce cup full of my fuel. Okay, now I think he's putting the hose back into the carb, and he walks away with about $3 worth of California gas. Kind of brazen, right off of Route 66 here, about 100 feet, broad daylight. <laughs> other cars throughout here that are empty and um, I thought that I mean I've got the sign that says warning security cameras you can see it everything's locked up the bike is locked to the hitch the hitch is locked to the RV but you can still come by quite easily as you saw and completely steal all of my motorcycle gas so what do I do about that <laughs> there's no lock that goes on the carb right there at the fuel line or is there I that's a first for me I am shocked I'm shocked. I'm speechless. Why don't you bite him, Jax? Why don't you get him? You can howl at me. Dad, there's somebody outside. Rawr! You gotta hold your weight, man. You gotta help out around here. <laughs> no? I don't know. Would you have confronted that person if you were... That's a tough one for me. See, I've been through something like this very, very similar years ago before I had cameras down in California. I had an individual climb up the back of my ladder, remember? As I'm coming outside, trying to pull a panel off the roof of my RV while I'm in the RV. Uh, and uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, uh, I think um, I think had this experience happened to any other RVer on the road, they just would have never known anything, would have gone about their day, would have left there, would have got on their motorcycle, ran out of gas, and say, hmm, that's weird. I only got about one mile per gallon this time. Guess I got to fill it up. <laughs> like, who knows? Me personally, it's just a little insight. I'm not paranoid or anything like that, but every single morning I wake up, when I have my first cup of coffee, I review what's going on on my DVR, on my security systems, only on motion. So I set it to motion and I set it to double speed and I just watch and make sure nothing has happened. Make sure no one's tampered with any of my other uh, compartments on the RV or gone underneath or messed with tires or done anything to the side, spray paint. <laughs> I hope that never happens, graffiti, you know, in bad areas. But I just kind of look around just, just, just to know I'm not, you know, spending a whole lot of time, less than 10 minutes total, all night, just to see all the uh, motion events that have happened. And this one, uh, this one bugged me in a way that just made me feel really, really uncomfortable. And I struggled with whether or not I even, wa even wanted to share this with you all. But going back to the last video I made when I parked here, there were dozens of people in the comments from this area of California that said, Eric, that's a sketchy area. Like so many people recognized it and had recognized that there had been multiple crimes that had happened in that area. And you know, me going into it, I don't know these things. Anywhere on Route 66, I'm just flying blind. We're just gonna see what happens. Uh, but I did find it strange that actually people are warning me kind of after the fact, because, you know, I didn't have that information going in. Uh, and you're right, absolutely, it's a bad area. Now, I will also admit I chose to contact the police because I have some video. Uh, I would imagine that most, most of the time this happens in that area, they don't have a suspect, they don't have a name, they don't have a face, they don't have anything. So uh, because I had that video and I had what looked to be a pretty clear shot of his face, I decided to give that to the county police here, the county sheriff's office here, uh, that, that file, so that they now have someone to possibly keep an eye on in the area in case similar uh, stories like this come up and they wonder who might have done it. Well, maybe he just lives in that area and does it every night to every single vehicle or motorcycle. I don't know. It's not the end of the world. It's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me, and it's not the last time this is going to happen to me. All I can do is try to keep a positive attitude. And, and, and again, for those people that say, Eric, you're, you're complaining, you're, you're being negative. Well, how do I present something bad that's happened in my life without my audience telling me that I'm complaining about it? 
you have to allow me to explain what's going on in my life in a real way. Otherwise, this is all fake Hollywood. You know what I mean? Okay? This couch is beige. That's a, that's a fact. That's me pointing out something. This coffee is hot. Someone stole my gas last night. I'm telling you what happened. So if you're the type of person who watches my video and gets triggered when I simply talk about something negative that isn't happy like the rest of the videos, then you need to question yourself because I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers who fakes it and ignores all of the bad stuff that happens on the road. I've never been that way. Those of you that have followed me know I share exactly how it is to prepare other RVers to know exactly what to expect. Also, for this reason, you may have noticed in my last video, I said I'm going to start giving out GPS coordinates all these awesome places. Well, that quickly got deleted off of the uh, dis video description below, and I have decided against that. Because I don't want to put other people in danger. I don't want to steer people in the wrong direction. I do want to share more of Route 66 and find new stuff, new alignments on Route 66. But I absolutely do not want to put anyone in harm because of some of the places I've chose to boondock in that might not be safe for the rest of the world. See what I mean? But it's all good. Live and learn. No foul. Lost a little bit of gas. Just going to have to remember next time I fill up Miranda for gas, pull up a little more. We'll top off some Supreme into old Roxy and uh, reset the odometer. And uh, we should be good, okay? It's, you know, just move on. Get out of California. You guys be safe. Jackson, I'll see you back on the road in two days from Route 66. Bye, guys.